You believe a sir? You you believe in Satan, do you? Okay. Can I ask you why? Don't don't walk off. If you want to show a tattoo about Satan, come and speak to me. Because I'll expose the darkness, my friend. You need to come into the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Satan will take you to hell. And you might think it's fun then, you might think it's a party, but I'll tell you, when you're in the fires of hell and you're there forever and ever, you won't think it's funny. I'm here as a Christian, I'm telling people about Jesus. Why do you, do you are you interested in Satan? Why, why would you say that? No, he hasn't, no. Satan, uh, well, Satan is actually, to be fair, Satan was seen as the most beautiful angel. Well, just listen to this, right? Satan was an angel in heaven, okay? He was very, very beautiful, okay? Uh, just listen for one minute. What's your name, sorry? Okay, right. Um, but Satan, yeah, if you want to know, he was a beautiful angel, but he got proud and he thought he was amazing. Friends, I'm here to chat to you today, tell you about God, tell you about Jesus. Please do consider these things. He loves you very much. You come back. Have you got anything sensible to say? Yeah. Go on. What's... Right, why? You're literally about 13 and you're talking. It's really embarrassing, actually. It's really... Would your mum be pleased with you saying that? Your grandma? You shouldn't be talking like that. Come on. I've got, a little, I've got a little girl. And if my girl was talking like you at 13, I'd be really, really upset. And I'm... Whatever you are... Whatever you are. Whatever you are. Just come on. Look, yeah, you're human and God loves you. And you don't have to act like this. You really don't have to act like this. Right, just uh, listen, listen. I don't want to have this conversation. You're going to carry on being rude. I don't agree. You don't agree with them, no. Do you believe in God? Yeah, you do? Yeah, a bit. What do you think about him? I think that it's like, they say about the Big Bang Theory and saying that the God is connected. But I think God is more Yeah, well, that, it, it, what's your name, sorry? Carl, Carl's got some sense there. You're right, Carl. Because Carl is right. Imagine, imagine if we heard a bang on the other side of that, that building there, okay? What caused that bang? Maybe, maybe uh, I don't know, maybe a piano fell from the building. But something caused the bang. So if you believe in the big bang, I don't know if you do, what caused the first big bang? It must have been something. What was your name? Right, okay. Listen, I really don't know why you're talking like this. Do you really think that this is a good way to go? Starting your life out talking that rude as a young lady. You do know... Listen, listen, is all I'm trying to tell you is God really loves you, you and he can help you and you shouldn't be talking like that at your age, okay? Just please, please, listen, we, we can have a conversation later, okay? But we're just, listen, if anyone's going by, yeah, you, you solved this problem for me, okay? Do you know, we've got lots of high school students here that are talking about really rude things that they wouldn't say in front of their grandmothers, but here's the big question. If you're a young person now, okay, do they tell you about God in school these days? When I went to school, they used to read the Bible. And those of you going by are atheists, you say, it's great, let's get rid of God. It's great, let's kick God out of the science lesson. Let's tell all our kids, we've come from slime, we've come from monkeys, there is no God. And now, and now we're reaping the harvest of it. We've got young people who've got no respect, we've got young people that are saying things that you, would, you wouldn't hear people say, you know, even if you went into an store today. So guys, come on, think about these things. When you went to school and your grandparents were teenagers, they were told good Christian values. There's a God who loves you. There's a God who cares about you. Jesus died on the cross. You were told the Ten Commandments. You're told all kinds of things. You're told it's okay, you're just an accident. You came from a big bang. There's no purpose, there's no meaning, there's no God. And everyone's crying out saying, well, what is the point in life? Is it any wonder why we've got children who are so messed up in their minds? But I'm saying it doesn't have to be that way. There can be hope if you turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and you find forgiveness in him. See these eyes here? Do you think these eyes never looked at anything they should never have looked at? What do you think? Guys, kids, do you think these eyes never looked at things I'd be embarrassed of? What do you reckon? They have, okay? Right, you see these lips here, okay? Do you think my lips have ever said swear words? Just like that girl before who was saying rude things. Do you think I've ever said rude things? They have, okay? But now ask me this question. Ask me this question, am I going to heaven? Yeah. I am. Not because I'm a good person, as you can see I'm not. But because 2,000 years ago, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, was willing to die in my place. And I'll tell you something, he was willing to die for you as well. And it's all you have to do is turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and he'll save you. Guys, we were talking about Jay Slater before. A young person. We were talking about a young person, Jay Slater. In the prime of his life, 
Loss of confidence, goes to Tenerife, goes on a party, and yet he's lost today and he's gone. Young people die as much as old. We might think we've got all the answers, but you need to find the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, friends, it's all right, it's okay, they're okay, they're okay to listen, it's all right. It's good, it's all good, it's all good for it. No, I appreciate it, but it's all good. Listen, guys, we're just here to give you hope, and people need hope today. If there's any atheists out there today, can you give me hope? You tell me, let's go into Lancaster Hospital, let's find a man there, you give that man some hope if you're an atheist. What are you going to say to him? Just bad luck? Oh, I feel sorry for you. Maybe better luck next time. What hope does that give to them? Well, I'm telling you about a man who beat the grave, and he can beat your grave. Because the truth is this, anyone who you are right now, whatever age you are, say you're 50, say you're 60, can you believe you're 50 years old now? Can you believe how quick life has gone already? Listen, you're 14 now, you're 15 now, I'm telling you, in a blink of an eye, you'll be 60 and you'll be looking back at your life. And I'm trying to tell you right now, it'll go like that. And I'm saying, when you die, when you step into that grave, and that's it, the God you've ignored, the God you've rejected, he will say, why did you reject my son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on that cross? Why did you reject the only key, the only one who could open you and get you to heaven, who can bring you eternal life? And I'm offering it to you today, if you want it, is all you have to do is come and receive the Lord Jesus Christ. One final challenge, I've got something in my bag for you right now. One final challenge, if you are an atheist, can I ask you a question? What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter, is a terrible book. What if I said Harry Potter is the worst book in the world? What would you think of me? A lot of people disagree. A lot of, what if I said Harry Potter? What if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me then? You'd say read it first and then make a judgment. Well, don't say the Bible is a load of nonsense. It's a load of fairy tales without reading it first. Yeah. And I'll give you a portion of the Bible for free. If anyone wants it, just come and take it from my hands. A free portion of the Bible. God bless you, sir. Thanks, Carl. Anyone else want a portion of the Bible? Anyone else want a, a copy of the Bible for free? God bless you. And I wonder if I ask you a question, who are you voting for today? Which leader do you think is worth putting your trust in? Which leader do you think is worth being the leader of the UK? Because let's be honest, We've had a pretty, pretty shocking uh, amount of leaders recently, haven't we? We've had a pretty bad track record. But is there any leader that you would put your faith in? What about Rishi Sunak? Do you think he's going to be a good leader? No. What about Keir Starmer? Anyone think he's going to be a good leader? Nigel Farage? Some people might say Tommy Robinson. Some people Donny, Donald Trump. Uh, Biden, Joe Biden. Who is a good leader? Who do you think? The problem with all of these leaders is they all make a mess. And it's very, very hard in 2024 to be a leader. It's very, very hard for me right now to stand upon this box because we hate leaders. There's one leader who will lead you into righteousness. There's one leader who cares about you. There's one leader who really does listen when you call out to him. And that's the leader of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you put your trust in him? Have you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ? You know, the Bible says in the last days we'll have lovers of self, lovers of selfies. Everyone loves to take selfies, everyone cares about themselves. Well, Satan, if you like, he was the perfect ambassador for this generation. He loved himself, he was an angel in heaven, and yet he got so proud, he got so big that he thought he was better than God. So God basically picked him up and cast him out of heaven. And that's why we have the devil now today. And the devil wants to deceive you, my friend. He's deceived many people in this world. He's got you wrapped up in, in TikTok and Netflix and Tinder and all these things. You spend hours and hours there, and yet you've got an eternal soul that one day will wake up in either heaven or hell. And I want to know where your soul is going today. Because I'm standing here, to, you're meeting a man today who wants to get you out, get you out of your grave. If there's any atheist out here in Lancaster, it's, well, we've got to love him, we've got to love him. We were all young once, weren't we, believe it or not? We were all young once. But listen, I'm asking you today, if you're an atheist, come and chat to me. I am, but I'm busy. You're busy, are you?